Hello everybody, this is Zax399, another brand new game just launched on Steam today. We're going to go ahead and give it a first review uh, here on Steam, here on my channel. This is Berrytown. Now this is a strategy RPG indie kind of an adventure game. Looks a lot like uh, this War of Mine, which is a really popular survival kind of a strategy game that came out on Steam about a year ago. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give this game a try. And let you guys know if this game's worth your six dollars and ninety-nine cents in American currency right after this. Zaxter ninety-nine. All right, welcome back, everybody. First thing you notice with this game is it kind of launches in this weird-shaped window here. Now I don't know if this is a phone port or what. I'm guessing it probably is. Uh, because of the way that the screen is shaped here and if you go into the options you don't have any other way to to turn that off so or to change your resolution so I'm guessing this is a port so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the new game here choose a talent survivor doesn't give me any information about it when I hover over it a marksman hit increases to 125 percent how come survivor doesn't have any kind of a perk so marksman hit increases to 125 athlete hit uh, points increases to 125 scavenger uh, item drops increase by 10 percent or a communicator gain a large bonus to npc interactions refusing an npc's request will not cause a relationship points to drop hmm interesting uh, let's go with an athlete just to get the extra hit points, I guess. I don't see the advantage of taking a survivor. I guess taking a survivor would be like if you wanted to go hardcore mode and not get a perk. But that's my best guess. We're going to go ahead and try the athlete here. And confirm. Driven by hunger, they brutally tear and devour each other. The void is just around the corner. They dance during the last feast push you to the edge of despair and send you an invitation to hell. Okay. And get a picture of the zombies here. After passing through a street filled with zombies, you reach an empty hut. In order to survive, you have to return to the small town to search for supplies in its deserted buildings. Okay. You found a uh, shelter, but the inside is empty. Kennel. Upgrade is already at its maximum. Operate. The dog is hungry. Feed it some meat. Well, I don't have any meat to feed it. Huh. I don't think. Alright. And then this is my hunger level, obviously. Try to keep your stomach full. Chronic hunger can lead to intestinal infections and reduce hit point regeneration. We got the time here, 7.25 in the morning. What is this? Oh, okay, season, autumn. Winter average temperatures of zero. Low temperature makes it easier to catch cold. Zombies become crazier in cold weather. I'd like to see these guys make it so that we can actually uh, get a Fahrenheit temperature. The developers, if... You know, they wanted to make this understandable by the other half of the world over here who don't do Celsius. Uh, the number of days you survive, day one. Bragging rights. Uh, you have when you eventually turn into a zombie. So it's not a matter of if you're going to turn into a zombie or die. It's just a matter of how long you can survive. The impact of the weather should not be underestimated. If you have already have shelter, you should adjust your plans according to the weather. Alright. There's our hit points. This is our mood. Pain, hunger, and fatigue can affect your mood or make you uh, sleep deprived, which slows down your hit points and energy regeneration. Take a break to make sure your spirits stay high. Okay. Infection. So that's our infection, this is our energy, and this is injury. Great. Alright. Toolbox. 
so you can make all these tools as long as you have the crap. What is this? Metal, parts, missile, okay. So we don't have anything yet. We gotta go scavenge, it already told us that. I'm just trying to take a look at my shelter, I guess. Storeroom, okay. What's this? A hair trap to catch bunny rabbits. Greenhouse. But you gotta build all this crap. To make a stove, you need a... Uh, Oh, right here. Need wood and whatever that is. Metal. Wood and metal. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm headed out now. Tips. I didn't see the tip. Okay, so this is our home, obviously, and this is a shelter we're going to scavenge. Can I click anywhere else? Nope. Okay. Gas station. Progress zero of two, item zero. Various vehicles are parked so haphazardly in the station that they cannot move either forward or backward. It's a miracle that no explosion has occurred in the station. Distance, an hour and nine minutes. Go. What else am I going to do? So it takes me time to get there. You've left your shelter. You're very hungry. Bacteria are spreading throughout your body. Great. You decide to go to the gas station. Your mood gets worse. You've arrived at the gas station. Okay. Enter. Spotted zombies in front of you. My equipment is my fist. Threat level is one. Without any weapons, you can only attack with your bare hands. Fight that SOB. Don't look like I really have a choice there. It's either fight or fight. Uh, great, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Well, I guess not too bad. I have, oh, okay, I have 293 hit points to start with. That's not bad. There, I was thinking I had like 20. All right, you've killed all the zombies. I took 35 damage, no broken bones. Discovered a locked case. I'm trying to open it. All right, so here I found uh, metal. I think that's metal. Yeah, this is what? I don't have no idea what this crap is. That's gotta be like parts or screws. And then I found some food. All right, how do I eat my food? No, I don't wanna put that back in the case. Next room. Okay, so progress two out of two of the gas station. Depository. Hmm. Okay, try to keep it, so to eat that can of food, I just click on my stomach, I guess, and I can go ahead and click that. Uh, it's not tasty, but it's safe to eat canned food. Okay. I'm still seriously starving after eating that? Good grief. So the game starts you off starving to death. That's great. Alright, let's get out of the gas station now. Where can we go now? Okay, let's go over here. Supermarket. People who ran away in a panic robbed this place. The windows are smashed and shards of glass are everywhere. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very good place to go. I mean, you think about it in an apocalypse like this, the first place everybody's going to go is the freaking the grocery stores. You know, those are going to be the first places that are raided, and that's going to be the most dangerous places as well. Now, I don't know, it doesn't seem Progress Zero Four may be my only choice, but what happens if I say forget it? No other place opens up. So... Right now, it's not like I have a whole lot of choice in the situation. It puts you in a in the game starving to death with nothing, and it only gives you one option at a time, the gas station and now a supermarket. I, it's not like I have a lot of choice here. So I'm being forced to do what the game wants me to do so far. I mean, it's nighttime. Uh, okay, enter. 
Spotted zombies in front of me. Threat level two. Of course. What else am I going to do? I mean... I think I killed one of them, didn't I? No. Total number of zombies, zero, two. Okay, yeah. You killed all the zombies. Took 41 health damage. And... A uh, table with a locked drawer. Seems like no one noticed it before. 45 minutes, sure. We're up at midnight here. And we found some wood. That's got to be good. I just, you know, I could click take all, but I just want to see what I got here. Three, some parts. I think I found some more food. That'll be good. And, uh, the hell is this? I don't even know. Day two, it's quiet tonight. And that just automatically happened. I mean, while I'm in the supermarket, it just tells me it's, uh, day two. Okay. So, took everything. Next room. More zombies. Great. Well, I mean, in fight there, it's not like I have a choice to run. Alright, let's go ahead and eat our tuna here. And I'll eat the other one so that I'm full. So I'm not getting infection and crap. Yeah. And I'm finally full. Now my heart is saying, oh, I'm, that's because I'm tired. What's going on up here? I'm depressed, okay. And then here, I'm a little bit injured. All right, next room, discovered another locked case. Takes time to open it up. Wow, hit the jackpot here. Now I don't know if all this is random. I'm guessing all this crap is random. I don't know what any of this stuff is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all. Oh, I can't. I don't have a room. Can I put some of this stuff in the backpack? Is that going up here? No, where the hell's it going? Oh, it's going down here. Okay. Items are too heavy. Alright, so... What's most important here? What is this? See, I don't like how you can't even tell what the crap it is. You hover your cursor over it, it doesn't tell you what it is. I have no idea what that is. Is that a freaking... Is that teeth? Is it, you know, pills? Is it... Lemons? I have no idea what the hell that is. Let's go ahead and take that, see if we can eat it. No, we can't. I mean, I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, a healing kit would be pretty important, I'm sure. Let's take that. Weight 35 out of 35. Food's going to be pretty important, too. See, I don't even know what this is. Is that toilet paper? What is that? Is that cloth? I'm guessing it's cloth. But, who knows? Okay, so a can of food is obviously more than one weight. Uh, put one of these screws back. There we go, now we're... So we can come back here to the uh, supermarket and get the rest of this crap, I hope. Next room. Uh, now we're gonna get out of here. Now more places opened up. Okay, let's go back home, though. We need sleep. Six o'clock in the morning. More zombies. Okay, now we got a choice to escape. Yeah, I'm gonna escape. Or try to. You put the food and materials you brought back in the warehouse in the bottom uh, left corner. Now, get some food from the warehouse and uh, sleep in the sleeping bag. Simply tap the icon at the top to check your survival status. Okay. Now get some food from the warehouse, then sleep in the sleeping bag. Simply tap the icon at the top. Okay. I don't need... Oh, I guess I need a little bit of food. Okay. Eat. It's trying to show me how to play, but I've already figured that out. Now sleeping bag's right here. Okay. I gotta build it, and I don't have the six cloth that I need. Great. I can't build it, dumb thing. So, I can't sleep. So, basically, I gotta get back out of here. And to get out of here... Uh, no. Okay. Gate. Leave the gate. There we go. 
Now I gotta go back and get my crap so I can build a freaking. It's right here, right? Yeah. I know I'm tired as crap, but I gotta get the rest of the crap so I can make a sleeping bag. Here we go. I need this cloth. Whatever that is, I'll take that. I'll take these parts. I should be able to take all this crap, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll get out of here. Get out of here again. Go back home. I'm getting so tired. It's almost noon. Okay. Deposit our crap. Gotta build the sleeping bag. Build. Now we can build it. All right, let's sleep. Uh, it's telling us to sleep for four hours. I think I need more than that. Yeah, see, I'm not even close. I'm gonna sleep for another four hours. Getting hungrier, but my breakdown, going into a breakdown. Wow. You need a workbench to make a bed. Okay. After having no sleep, you regain hit points, however, starvation and disease and zombies can still kill you at any time. You need to get more supplies. In addition, you'd better carry a weapon when you head out. Okay. So now that I, I can make some crap, I don't have enough stuff to make a gun. You need to make a workbench. Ah, uh, to make a katana, okay. Workbench. Make it. Day number three, it's quiet tonight. Good. Alright, so it's right after midnight right now. And it's telling me to make a hatchet. Or an axe. Okay, so I made me an axe. I need to eat. Eat again. Okay, I should be good. Now, how do I uh, keep myself from going into a breakdown here? Uh, take a break to make sure your spirits stay high, and if it's available, drink some coffee as well. Well, I've already slept. I've already taken a break. Can I take a break here? chair. You need a chair to drink coffee. Okay, build it. Anything to help us with our mood. Now, oh, this is what you need for coffee. That's coffee that, that I was wondering what the hell it was earlier. You need water. You need four coffees to make a thing of coffee. Okay. Well, I guess my mood, I guess I'm going to go into a freaking breakdown here. Because of my mood. Yeah, this game does remind me a lot of uh, this War of Mine. It's just not quite as good or detailed because, uh, you know, you only have your one guy here. But really the same type of game as that. Oh, I need to take that with me. Let's take a bandage with us as well. Oh, that's to equip our axe, okay. Cool. Now that means we got it equipped with a cursor on it. A little more detailed in as far as what you equip it looks like when you go out into town. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Zombie night raids will become more powerful. Perfect. Apartment. If you find the elevators full of zombies, you won't have much luck on the stairs either. Whatever, we're going. Mr. Lau, I'm sorry to interrupt, but can you do me a favor? He, she needs coffee, screws, and water. Uh, I don't, I can't give him anything, so refuse. Sorry, buddy. Finding an escape route is always a problem for high-rise apartments. If you find that the elevator is full of zombies, you won't have much luck with the stairs either. Go for it. Table with locked drawers. Uh, because we have an axe, it's going to take us less time, I'm guessing.
Bingo, we found some bullets. We found... What the hell is this? I wish you could find find out what the hell something is by putting your cursor over it. Okay, how do I... Oh, I probably gotta build this or something. Maybe. A backpack. Found water, that's good. More coffee, I'll take that. More food. I'll definitely take that weapon. Okay. Cloth seems like a good thing to have. Metal. Wood. Looks like I can take everything. Next room. You find a hidden channel behind the broken walls. You suspect there are uh, secrets and dangers within the darkness. Uh, secret passage. No. You cannot re-enter the secret room once you leave. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes, I want to leave. Doesn't sound safe to me. Uh, I found some watering zombies. Your equipment. Threat level is three because there's three freaking zombies. Let's fight them and see what happens. I'm doing a lot more damage. I'm doing 40 damage with each hit now. Kill all the zombies. Good. Another freaking table. Ten minutes with the uh, crowbar. I'll take that. Wow. Hit the jackpot again. Food. Water's important. No coffee, unfortunately. Another crowbar. I don't think I need that. Let's take some more bullets, though. Uh, more cloth. Seems important. Screws. I have no idea what this is right here. We'll take it. Uh, metal. Oops. Alright, we're lo fully loaded. No, that's the secret passage again. No, I don't want to go through the secret passage. I'm out of here. Gotta go back home. What's this guy? Is this that Lou guy? Alright, I need to eat. Okay, sit in my chair. I don't have enough crap to make coffee yet, though. What happened with all my coffee beans I had before, though? Oh, they're right here. Okay, I still don't have enough. Okay. Can't feed the dog. Sorry, doggy. What is this? Wood stove? I have enough crap to build this wood stove. Let's build it. Okay. Temperature is 17. I don't think I need to light that yet. Uh, what's this going on? Sleep. Let's go ahead and get some more sleep. Sleep until dawn. Another quiet night. Alright, 6 a.m. I'm going nuts here. Breakdown. Because I don't have coffee, I guess. I'm sleeping plenty. It says sleep. And taking a break helps with the mood, but my mood is still crap. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to do about that. And I don't have any food. I'm hungry. So back in the town again. Bag, okay. So you automatically dump all your crap out every time you come home. Put my. I don't need to take my bullets with me. Alright. I think I will take my crowbar though. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. Go here, shopping mall, sure. Three hours. We better hope we find some food in here. Fight these damn zombies. Oh, I broke my axe. That's not good. Some more wandering zombies notice you without any weapons. Uh, what about... Well... Can I use the crowbar? I took it with me. I'm not worried. I'll attack him with my bare hands. Pull like Rick and just take him by the head and smash their head into the wall. Alright. More friggin' zombies? Good God. This shopping mall's dangerous. A mutilated zombie. It looked like the mutilated zombie was a lot more dangerous. Alright. And get our crowbar. Crowbar can't be used as a weapon. It can only be used to help you get into crap quicker. And I found some food, thank God. More bullets. More coffee. Ooh, steak. There we go. Here, equipment. Bullets times four. Uh, without any weapons, but I don't have a gun, so I have to use my hands. I don't have an option there to escape. I can only fight them. So it's not like I have a lot of choice here. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, that's probably raw steak. Try it. Meat, uh, fresh, uninfected meat. Very important. Eating raw meat can result in an intestinal infection. Yeah, we don't want to eat that. All right. Kill all the zombies. It's obvious that these cupboards have been overlooked by people and zombies. Sure. It's only going to take me 10 minutes with the crowbar. Okay. And what's this? A broken gun? Steak? Take it. Coffee? I'll take it. More bullets? I'll take all this crap. Another one? Wow. Don't know what that is. Too heavy. Okay. More zombies. I'm going to die here, probably. Yep. I'm dead. Ouch, don't die, don't die. Uh, woo, that was close. All right, let's eat. Eat. Okay, hit points didn't go up. Get back out of here and go back home. It's getting close to being night anyway. I'm gonna escape. I don't need to fight no zombies. Hope they don't get me. Okay. Oh, I died. You finally fallen after surviving for three days. Right as I got back home, too. That's effed up. You survived three days, 19 hours, and 53 minutes. Uh, I agree to upload the game data. It'll only be used for ranking list. Sure. Enter my name. Zax. Okay. Now, if we go to the ranking list... Uh, I scored 6,092 points. Day 3. 6,000... No, that's 6,090. Uh, I play 6,092. Somebody, all these people, uh, survived 425 days. Somebody survived. 
it's got to be the developers and stuff like that because the game just came out. So there you go. Yeah, see, the game. these are uh, dates before the game even launched. Huh. By the developers or the developers' friends or whatever. Huh. All right. So there is Barry Town. Went ahead and played a full game. I died after three days and 19 hours. Uh, as far as the game, I think you can do better. Uh, I think the game's a little overpriced at $6.99, to be honest with you, uh, for review. You know, I mean, it has some replayability because you can go back and play again. I think it's going to be a little bit different every time you play. Some of the options I don't like where you're forced to actually, you know, you're pretty much forced to do things that maybe you don't want to do. Uh, not a whole lot of, you know, choice except coming back home and what you build and, you know, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of luck involved as well. Eh. For six ninety nine, honestly, guys, I think it's a little overpriced. I would wait for a sale on this game unless this is really your cup of tea. But honestly, if you're going to spend six ninety nine on this and you haven't already played uh, this War of Mine, uh, I think this War of Mine is probably a lot better game. Uh, or wait for a sale for the, this War of Mine and buy that over this game. But if you already have this War of Mine and you really love that kind of game, then maybe go for this game. But uh, you know, I, I guess it's pretty good. But I think it should. I think it's a little overpriced. So, you guys are going to have to let me know what you guys think of Buried Town down in the comments below. Does it look like a good game? Uh, my recommendation is, eh, it's kind of blah. Uh, at $6.99, I think it's overpriced. I'm probably going to give it a not recommend on Steam. So, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This has been Zaxter99. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.